Hello, today I am going to discuss some important SQL queries which has been asking in different examinations and also of the interview board. Before going to discuss some SQL queries, I have request all of you kindly subscribe and like and press bell icons to access more videos. In this video, I have taken two tables, first is the MP table, second table is the DPT table. In EMP table, there are several actives that is employee numbers, employee name, job, manager number, hire date, sale, commissions, and department number. In this table, there are 14 rows, and next table is department numbers, uh, whose have uh, three actives, department number, department name, and locations, whose have four rows. Here, in this table, EMP is the primary key, and DPT number is the foreign key, and DEP table have DPT name number is the primary key. Now I have discussed some SQL queries. First query is the list the name and code of all employees. The answer should be select e name EMP, EMP number from EMP. Select e name EMP number from EMP. I have run this SQL queries. This is the output employee numbers employee name. Next SQL query is, is this that name, employee code, department code of all clerks. Answer is select EMP, you know, e name, department number from EMP, by job equal to clerk. I have run this code. This is the output employee number, employee name, and department number. Next query is list the name employee code salary of all managers here answer should be select employee number employee name sell from emp or job equal to managers now i have run this code this is the answer employee number employee name and sell okay three rows are returned next query becomes list the employee Whose salary lies between three, uh, 2000 and 3000. Here you use the between phase. That is the query becomes select in and sell from EMP by sell between 1000 and 2000. You just see that the output has sell between 1000 and 2000 and six rows are returned. Next query becomes list the employee whose salary are 800, 600, and 2450. For this query, we use the in keyword that is select in name cell from EMP or cell in 800, 600, 2450. We write this number in the quotation marks in the first packet. And we, after run these queries, this is the output. You see that. Next query, list the employee name start with F. The name of the employee's name start with F. For this reason, we use the like operator like F percentage. Here, answer should be select E name from EMP or E name like F percentage. I have run this query. You see that the name employee name is 4. Next query becomes list the name, job, or all employees whose name exactly five character in length. For this reason, we use the length field, length functions. Uh, so the query becomes select e name from EMP where length name five percentage. Uh, five. Answer should be. You see that. So select e name from EMP where length first bracket e name bracket plus equal to five. Here five length character name is shown. Next query is list all employee whose name end with end. Since end is end means we use the like operator and use the percentage sign then given that character name. In previous query first start with f means f percentage but if name is end it end. So use the percentage then end keyword. So our query becomes select e name from EMP or e name like end percentage. Now it becomes
is the output. You see that Alan and Martin, whose name is in retain. Next query is list all employees who have joined between 1181 and 311281. We write this, write this query with the two underscore date function, and the format of this function is higher date, then specify in the single quotation marks DD MMYY. In this format, date is shown. So query becomes select star from EMP, where two underscore date, higher date, DD MMYY, not between two date, uh, 01 January 81 DD MMYY, and two date, 31 December 81 DD MMYY. And we run these queries. Now the output becomes. This the output you see that output not between 81 to 82. Okay. Next query calculate the average salary of all employees. So we use the select average ABJ cell from EMP, ABJ functions. This is the output. You see that if you like my videos, can you subscribe and press the bell icons for more videos? Next, again, next query calculate max mean sum cell from employee. We get the answer select max cell mean cell sum cell from MP. Actually, maximum, minimum cell sum count. These functions are called aggregate functions. This is the output maximum 5000, minimum 800, and sum is 29025. Next query find the maximum salary whose job is salesman. We write this query with double ended query that is first write select in name job from cell from EMP where job equal to salesman and cell equal to. So we write again double ended queries select max cell from EMP where job equal to salesman. Using this query, we get the proper answers. We just see the output. Next query, select the average salary of all salesmen. So we write this select average salary from EMP by job equal to salesman. Okay. Next query, select the total salary of job wise. So according to job wise, we show that use the group by clause. So query becomes select job, some cell from EMP, group by job. This is the output, group by job, clerk, salesman, president, manager. This it is the job name. Next query. This department whose job salary is maximum. For this query, we use again use the double ended query that is select DPDNO average cell from EMP group by DPDNO having average salary equal to select max average cell from EMP group by DPDNO. So if we run this code, we get this answer as you see the answer. Next query. Display the name of the employee whose maximum salary, whose job is salesman. So this is also a double-ended query. Select star from EMP or higher cell equal to select max cell from EMP or job equal to salesman. In this query, we get the output. This is the output. You see that maximum salary whose job is salesman. Next query, display the name, department number, anniversary of each employee in order, cell, salary and department number. Answer should be select, rename, department number, cell stack 12 as annual salary. Here we rename the annual salary as using the as keyword, then give the new name of the column annual and as salary. So, so query becomes select, rename, DPDNO, cell stack 12 as annual salary from EMP order by cell department number. After run this query, we get the output as this format.
okay and this field calculate the annual salary, annual salary. next query find all department whose salary who have less than five employees this is also the volunteer query we use the group by keyword and also count functions and again use the having keyword that is select a department name department number from depth table whose department number equal to select department number from emp having count EMP less than less than five group by department number. After on this query, we get the output as accounting department number ten. Next query becomes list the distinct job available in the employee table. This is a so easy query with the distinct keyword to find the answers. Select distinct job from EMP. After run this query, okay, so this is the distinct job. And last query becomes display the name of the department that has no employee. That is, select start from department or department not in select department number from EMP. After run this command, you get the answer as. okay i hope you enjoy this video if you like this video kindly subscribe and press the bell icon to touch with me thank you very much we again meet in next video thank you very much